2. The language used is old and interpretable. 3. The policeman's status makes him behave violently, even if he doesn't want that, and we have shown in the prison experiment what behavior can trigger such a job. 4. Laws are fixed for an unequal society. 5. Citizens are obedient in front of cops uniform. 6. The policeman represents just a working place, and we saw that the job is just a form of slavery, dressed in bright colors. In fact, this job negatively affects everyone, in a chaotic rhythm. The policeman may behave violently, people tend to be obedient to the authorities, the policeman may misinterpret what you say, today if you are over 30 years, and talk to a 12 years old girl, you must measure your words, because you may be misinterpreted, and be accused of pedophilia. It cannot get anything right from here, even if the laws would be useful and accurate, which is not the case. Not to mention, the corruption, that is normal in a monetary system, in which the main goal is money. If it is accepted that justice is the one who makes things right, through prison punishment, why does it happen situations like the following? It's April 17, 2005. At police headquarters in Providence, Rhode Island, 26-year-old Esteban Carpio is being questioned about the murder of an elderly woman. Suddenly, Carpio grabs Detective Jim Allen's gun and shoots him at point-blank range in the face. As Allen lays dying, Carpio leaps from a third-floor window and attempts to escape. He is captured only a few blocks from police headquarters, and when he appears at his arraignment, the extent of his injuries stuns the courtroom. I was horrified when I saw this kid walk into the courtroom. I, I mean, I've seen those masks used before to keep people from spitting or biting uh, the officers that, that are guarding them, but this wasn't for that. That's not the norm. You never see people come in with the mask. It's very rare. Whatever he might have done, whatever he was charged with, whatever the accusation, the mask is dehumanizing. It makes him look like an animal. I mean, that looks to me almost like brain damage time. You know, with the way the forehead is so swollen, the eyes are like covered in wax almost. But it's really just his skin. This kid took quite a beating. If you look at a before picture and an after, you can't recognize him. And it's no wonder his family reacts the way they do. And it was very obvious that the reason why I was wearing that is because the cops decided to take justice into their own hands before he ever entered the courtroom. Police brutality! An investigation conducted by the FBI cleared police of any wrongdoing. The fact is, if you're a judge to be a bad enough person, law enforcement has great latitude as to what sort of summary punishment they're going to inflict upon. And do not forget that increasingly more private companies employ people as a personal police or private security to protect personal rights or laws of that company. Okay, just one more time <laughs> in central London. Now we're outside the Shell headquarters, the British headquarters of Shell. And even before I started filming, the private security were very adamant that no filming would be allowed. So it's just one more example of a man standing on very public property with a camera just being told what to do and it's just that it, it starts to grate me but they're only following orders but what orders are they following Carried on filming. 
thing is, though, um, we're in the public you're, area. I don't give a shit, mate. You're not allowed, yeah? I advise you, you're not allowed to film the thing. Did you just swear at me? You just stood there and said, you just stood there. When I told you, you're not allowed, yeah? Yeah. You just stood there and said, I'm doing it. I don't give a damn. I'm doing it, yeah? No, no, I, I, don't, I didn't Listen. say I don't give a damn, yeah. did I? No, what do you, well, you got it yourself. You film it, yeah? Yeah, the thing is, though, I'm a, I'm a public area. Well, I stand there and the police, are you a, are the you police a, will be called. Are you a policeman yourself, sir? If I was a policeman, I would have arrested you. I'm a policeman. You would have arrested me? Yeah, if I was Under what charge? What would you have arrested me under? Just let it for me. Um, you've asked me to stay here. I'm not going to obey you. Ay, ay, ay. I'm sure you all know this, but uh, Shell is a big oil company, of course. And uh, this is a public area, this is a public sidewalk. We're here by the, what's this thing called? The big wheel, the, the London Eye. And uh, if you want to film the outside of a building in a public area in London, you're allowed to do so. You're fully allowed to do so. And uh, my dad used to work for Shell. Not that that's relevant to anything, but what's also relevant is that even before I took my camera out, he was trying to tell me what to do. Anyway, that's one of those new Mayor of London bikes, sponsored by Barclays, of course. You can't have a nice bike scheme without it being sponsored by um, a big bank. Where's the policeman? Maybe you're allowed to film in a public area. Maybe you're not allowed to tell me what to do. Maybe you're not allowed to tell me what to do. I'm not interested in your sarcastic remarks. You think you get a fluorescent jacket and a little radio and you can actually tell normal people what to do. Just stand there. Dude, this is a public area. I'm in a public area. Why are you pointing the camera at me for? Because you told me not to and you've got no right to tell me what to do, have you? Have you? Come on, admit it. You've got no right to tell anyone what to do. Hi, sir. How are you? You do not have the right to tell normal people walking past what to film, do you? Hiya, how's it going? No, but he was shouting at me. I was across the street. I've been walking around London all... Anyway, I'm yeah. filming for my protection, for evidence. Walking around, my dad used to work for Shell. My dad's a harbour pilot. Uh -huh. He used to park ships for Shell in yeah. Japan. Uh -huh. I got my camera out to go, oh look, Shell headquarters. This man, you, started telling me what to do. I am a normal human being in a public area. I can film any building I want. And he threatened me with police. Do you realize how annoying it is to be told what to do by someone, a little jumped up security officer in a fluorescent jacket? Hey, 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 he was abusive to me. He was abusive to me. He swore at me twice. I've got it on video. So like, the thing is he threatened me with arrest. Sorry? Do you show me No, because it's like 10 minutes ago, but he threatened me with arrest. Anyway, this is all going to go on YouTube, because I, I have a YouTube channel. And it's all about, yeah, but thing is though, maybe you should retrain your staff not to shout at people across the street telling them what to do. Why are you shouting at me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I do... Okay, I apologize. I am, I am actually quite worked up. Yeah, I'm worked up. I'm not, I'm not shouting at you. Do you realize why he came over and asked me? He didn't come over and ask me. He came over and told me that you're not allowed to film this building. And uh, I'm one of these human beings that when I'm told what I'm not allowed to do, of course I'll do it when I know I'm not breaking the law. We're in a public area. Like, if you want to explain to me officially, no? Why not? Why not? One of your staff, who you're defending, has just told me I'm not allowed to do something. Oh, 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 am I allowed to do it now? Oh, am I allowed to film the building now? Oh, are you gonna still tell me what to do? You jumped up little security guard trying to tell human beings what to do in a public area. You're looking at yourself, Well, <laughs> at least my salary isn't paid by an oil company. Anyway, good day to all of you. Think that these people Policemen, they really want to do justice, to help people, but unfortunately they never wonder, what are, the, 
laws, why should it be the police, or who gives them orders? People who want to do things right, but are misdirected. Weapons, army, and police, maintain an established society. So, how can they work for people? Weapons, army and police maintain an established society. So, this is against progress and evolution. As, there are, no bad people, with bad intentions, but only a harmful environment that pushes them to such behavior, these organizations no longer have purpose if there is a right environment for all. Some people, organizations, that want to make so-called justice, must work in a system in which is desired equality between people, in a system based on planet resources, in a system where goods and services abound, in a system based on proper education and free access to any information. Such organization that wants justice and progress, must be armed with the ability to solve problems. So, there would be no need for weapons. Of course, in a society based on planet resources in which dominate the abundance of goods and services, leading directly to a more free and equal society, there would be no need for police, army, and weapons. In a society of educated people with no reason to commit any crime, for what would we need the police? Whose should be the army? and who would animate the weapons. So, the solutions would be proper education and abundance, leading to the needless of such weapons, army or police, but such a society is not compatible with the monetary system. Remembering the vast universe and what is a human being, it's sad that it takes a conflict within this species, the only one capable, from what we know so far, to understand the universe, and this conflict can be understood today, the environmental influence on a human being, the people imitating character, obedience to authority, etc., studies over studies that should help in resolving these conflicts, but it does not happen. With so many scientific discoveries, and people still do not realize that they are all from the same species, and that they all live on the same planet, 